Hello and welcome to Election Night in Gold. Uh, joining me now is the Executive Director of NTA TV, Jack Tolman. Jack, you're here. To, before we get to the election, we're going to be talking about NPA Mobile. So, Jack, lay it on us. Thanks, Jack, and thanks for taking the time to do this. We do appreciate you coming down to help get uh, deliver the results to the town of Norwood. But I'm here just real quick, just to remind everybody that NPA, we, what we have is our new mobile. A mobile site where we can do on-demand um, programming we can do you can search our schedules you can watch our live stream so right now this is being streamed live right now so it's a great way for everybody to experience NPA and to share it and to get the most out of the NPA experience if, if you're driving I don't recommend you uh, you do that okay. so being Tim, sold so I don't want to interrupt you but yep. you got more to, go okay ahead. so we're gonna go to district 9 on the selectman race um, for District 9, we have incumbent Alan Howard with 230 votes. Uh, three, ho three votes behind uh, him, we have incumbent Paul Bishop. And trailing, we have uh, Kevin Pentowski, the challenger, with 158. So tallying the votes as of right now, we have uh, incumbent Paul Bishop with 435 votes. Alan Howard, incumbent also with 429 votes, uh, with uh, challenger Kevin Pentowski trailing with 306 votes. So those are your selectmen totals with two districts reporting. For the Norwood Finance Commission on District 9, we have uh, David Hajar uh, winning his second uh, precinct with 214 votes, followed closely by uh, Bob Donnelly with 203 votes, and John Hall has 138 votes. For a running tally of two districts, we have David Hajar with 406 votes, uh, followed by Bob Donnelly with 381 votes, and trailing slightly behind is uh, John Hall with 272 votes. And a little bit higher totals in nine than in eight, but still mm -hmm. nothing to write home about. No. As well, far the as turnout. And although we just saw District 4 has just come in as well, um, which tends to be a pretty high, um, high polling district. Yeah, usually, Jack, you start to see a trend after the first two to three districts. Right. I mean, we haven't seen any anomalies that somebody's done really well in one yeah. district. And I don't think you're going to see yeah, a But big it was adjustment. interesting, Bishop and uh, how it flip flopped. Flip -flopped. Exactly. In yeah. this one. Not by a lot, but, you know, yeah. so they'll, that's for bragging rights for those two, I, I think. Well, right exactly. Now. I know three and five are in now, and it's, it's probably about the same uh, ratio, if you will. Here they are, yeah, Jim. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go to District 3. For the Board of Selectmen, we have incumbent Paul Bishop with 260 votes. Alan Howard, chair, present chairman, 242 votes. Challenger Kevin Pentowski, 145 votes. In District 5, we have Paul Bishop with 113 votes. We have Alan Howard with 105 votes. And Kevin Pentowski with 76 votes. So we are ready to declare the uh, Board of Selectmen race. Uh, bragging rights go to incumbent Paul Bishop with 1,964 votes, which I believe is the year he was born. Uh, Alan Howard has 1,957 votes. In he was second born place. before that. <laughs> 46 or 64. And in third place, we have Kevin Pentowski with 1,249 votes. So it appears the two incumbents will be returning to the Board of Selectmen. So landslide bishops got a, you know, wins by seven. <laughs> I, I think I think uh, Alan might be Here declaring for a recount. Okay. And on the uh, race for finance commission, we're ready to declare a winner on that. In District Three, uh, Bob Donnelly, uh, well known, first time running for finance commission, 228 votes. David Ajar, 219 votes. John Hall in third with 140 votes. And in District Five, we have Bob Donnelly with 107 votes followed closely by David Hajar with 97 votes, uh, John Hall slightly behind with 63 votes. So the uh, two, income, uh, two winners for the Norwood Finance Commission position of one year, David Hajar topping the ticket with 1,809 votes, followed by Bob Donnelly, 1,696 votes. And in third place, uh, first time running for the Finance Commission, John Hall, 
1,221 votes. Okay, and the final tally for the question is uh, yes, 2,413, and no, 764. So uh, that was a huge win for, for the yes, which means no. Congratulations, Dave. Thanks. David? Congratulations. Thank you, it. Thank you Jerry. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. So last year, you said you, you were coming back, and I you did, did and uh, I'm did. glad you did. I'm glad I did, too. I can thank my family first for all their support and effort. Uh, it's a tough thing to do and put them through but they were very helpful and I appreciate it and thanks to my supporters and great campaign team and especially to the voters for um, voting me in obviously they liked the message and I'm, I'm glad they did yeah you you outworked no, nobody outworked you I should say uh, <laughs> Thank you, you were out there I saw you this morning when I went to work I saw you when I came back from work um, so congratulations. I had a good group of individuals um, helped me along the way and uh, some good advice and uh, it paid off Okay, so when's the first meeting? <laughs> I, I think it's the 12th, is what they're telling me. I know, me, I know so. your chairman is over there. I'm sure she's, she's going to let you know I'm pretty sure quickly. I'm sure she is. <laughs> but I believe you said the 12th, so right, right on to it. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And congratulations, I think, Dave. Did I see so Bob Dawson? You and his family. Yes. Bob? Here he is. Congratulations. Hello, Robert. Bob. Congratulations. Great campaign. Thank you very much. So, first time out, impressive. Yeah, it's great. Great experience. I'm very uh, relieved. <laughs> and it's been, uh, it's been actually, uh, the last few weeks has been kind of fun. A little stressful at first, but act after you get your feet in the water, it becomes um, enjoyable to a certain extent. So you're ready to jump right in? Oh, of course. We're ready to go. That's great. That's great. Yeah. So um, anything that you, since your first time running, was there any big surprises to you? Um, the amount of time and effort that it takes to, to run a campaign, uh, it's, it's, you don't really know until you you've do it, that uh, it does um, become obsessive with you to a certain extent. Um, but a lot of great things, too. I, I can't um, thank enough people who um, gave me advice, counsel, who came up to me on the streets, on the phones. Uh, people have just been really good, and that's, uh, that makes you feel good about running. Great. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. And, uh, thank you. We look forward to uh, Judy telling you what to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll close it out. I just want to, again, you know, Tim, as you were talking about when we started it 16 years ago, we've come a long way. I mean, we were up there. We just had the stationary cameras. Now we've got the truck outside. We have the policemen coming in. We've got the whole thing down here. And couldn't do it without NPA. Without these people, exactly. So Great people, great night. And uh, congratulations to all the winners, to all the people that ran and putting their name out there. We can't emphasize it enough. If You can't complain about things in town if you don't get involved. And thank you to all the candidates that put their name forward. And uh, Let's uh, make Norwood great again. And I just want to, you know, one thing that people don't understand, how many people it takes to put this on. So I just want to thank Jack, Erica, Denise, Mia, Danny, Sarah, Shadi, and Joe, who uh, were the crew around here that did such a great job. So signing off on behalf of Tim and Jerry and myself for live from... Uh,